why you do that thing that you do? Hello, just casually sitting down with a cup of coffee to talk to y'all. That's weird, why is she wearing the same outfit that she wore in her last video? A lot of YouTubers do it, okay? And uh, sometimes you just feel like sitting down with a cup of coffee and doing a vlog. So, that's what's happening. I didn't feel like changing, so. This is my first vlog in a long time. Do you like to see the old vlog that I put on my channel? Like, a ways back. Oh god. When my hair was doing a weird thing and I was like, I'm so cool, I'm in high school, I don't know. I haven't changed much actually. But if you want to watch it, <laughs> I think I did a video, 13 things, 13, wait, like 13 things you don't know about me, and I did another one that's like things that grind my gears, I think that's what it was called, things that grind my, be my beers, and those were kind of like, okay, that was my first step into vlogging, now uh, nothing has changed, I'm still going to be awkward, it's okay. So let's talk, let's have a discussion. Um, I don't know what to talk about. This is so weird. It's like, I don't know who I'm talking to is the problem. I don't have a set person that I'm talking to right now because it could be anybody. Obama could be watching this video or a plant. Okay. I think it's important to not be afraid of trying things in life. I spent a lot of my freshman year of college, which was last year, being scared of change, and it happened anyway. So now I've kind of, over the past couple months, probably since February, I've hit this spur, spurt, I've hit this roadblock where I'm like, maybe I should just try things. A couple of the things that um, have really opened me up, because first of all, you can't just be like, yes, I'm gonna go get a tattoo. You have to kind of ease your way into it. Not that I have a tattoo, I'm just saying like, before you just start doing a lot of things, you have to try something that's like, simple. That like, you've always wanted to do, that will not do any harm whatsoever. Like, I want to try spinach. Then you try it, okay? And then you can say that you tried it. So one of the things that opened me up was dyeing my hair red. That was during February, I was Dorothy in Wizard of Oz. Woo woo! And it was just a dream come true. I dressed up as Dorothy for Halloween when I was little, and um, it was basically the perfect role. It was it was wonderful. So my director came up to me after rehearsal one day, and he was like, hey, do you want to like dye your hair for this role? Because Judy Garland kind of had a auburn-y kind of hair color, and I was like, yes. Yes, I do want to dye my hair. Dang it, let's go. And all the way up until that point, I had always told myself I'd never dye my hair. I always wanted to dye it red, but I was so scared of doing it because I'm like, what if it ruins my hair? What if it dries it out? Or what if it never grows back, you know, the same color? Blah, 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 all of these things that could happen, whatever. So my director comes up to me and asks me if I want to dye my hair red, and I just go, yeah, yeah, I, I freaking want to dye my hair, let's go. And I did it, and it was the scariest thing ever. And then after that, I started to ease up a little bit on other things in my life, just like, I had all of these like really strict morals, not based on religion or anything, I just, very cautious person, I've always been a very, very cautious person. If you try a little thing, then you can decide if you really like it or not, and you would have never known had you tucked yourself and wrapped yourself in your little blanket and been like, um, I'm just gonna avoid everything, because if I avoid everything, then no change will come to me, and everything will be totally fine. You can't really avoid change. It's uh, it's gonna come, no matter what, so uh, you should probably just embrace it. So when you first enter college, you're gonna want all of your friends to stay exactly the same. And that will not happen, but that's okay, because you grow with them, or you grow apart from them and you move on. Either way, um, you know, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm even talking about at this point. I'm just saying you should try things. If you wanna go get a tattoo, and you've always wanted to do it, I'd say, you should do it. I've always wanted to try doing vlogging. And I don't know if it's gonna work out. I'm gonna post this one. It might look horrible. I might edit it all together and be like, that was the dumbest thing. But at least I am trying it. I am putting it out there and knowing for sure if it's the thing for me or if it's not the thing for me. You never will know until you do it. Thanks for watching this. <laughs> Thanks for always watching my videos if you are a returning 
um, follower. And if you are a newbie and you just came across me in the depths of YouTube, um, hey, hello. How's it going? Thanks for watching my videos all the way through. Cause I don't know if I would. Cause I'm not all that great, cause I'm not that popular. I'm just the girl on YouTube that does covers with the ukulele. And sometimes is originals and sometimes plays guitar. <laughs> just really wanted to try a vlog, that's all. I really hope my next one will be smoother. Oh dear God. Go out and try something today. Just like try something, it could be so small. It could be the smallest thing. So if you always wanted to learn how to whistle with the blade of grass in between your thumbs, you know what I'm talking about? Where you go, <laughs> then go learn how to do it. All right, thanks for watching, goodbye. See you next time I do a cover or an original, bye. <laughs>